If you're using if you're... the EWE 5000 for the internal sounds into some software, you don't even need a, an audio interface if you're just using the 5000 because that receiver unit, US, if you don't have it USB into your power, you USB it into your computer because I've already done this at, in, on my own recordings and the uh, a studio session I had, uh, two of them so far since I've had it. I go in and just plug my receiver USB into the computer we were using Ableton Live and then just choose that as the input to my audio track. And now I'm going straight. It helps even cut down even the latency, a little bit more latency. I'm going I'm going straight in. So that's versatile. The fact that you can hook that receiver is a stereo audio interface. No out, just an input. You plug it into Logic. If you plug that into Logic, you can choose it as your audio input on audio channel in Logic or Reason or you know any any of the DAWs that you're using. So that's with the internal audio. And then one other way you can get the internal audio is coming straight out of that quarter inch jack on the bottom. Which you don't need tip ring sleeves or all that stuff. You just need a regular guitar jack and just come out of here and go into an input on an amp or a board. And uh, I've, I've done a few gigs where that's what was convenient was just to sit there and hardwire. Now the other thing is the USB B port on the bottom. This has multiple functions. One, you can hook the electricity, the, the power plug and the USB from its end into here and it charges up. That's what I'll be doing after this this afternoon so it's charged up for my show tonight. So that's the flute sound. That's the pan flute sound. And and this is different, right? This is custom. It's not going to be like that for everybody because on the sheet of paper here, it has all of the different patch names and you know that came with the Ewe. And uh, you can also get it online at a the Kai website, but um, you can go through here and look and see what you like and if you want to go in and tweak it and then make sure you write down the numbers so you can save it on your uh, your own user bank I was able to turn up the volume because before it was like halfway and uh, so what I did I just cranked it up to about around minus seven and um, of course you can go down here and turn uh, the reverb off or our own and the chorus and the delay usually um, you know if you would have would have just plugged in your Ewe all of these would be up at some point you know so what you want to do is just adjust it to where it's comfortable for you for the bass, I wanted everything dry at zero. And um, after that, you know, I didn't mess with the, the pitch. I came over here to filter. And um, basically, I can mess with this now because I don't have to save it. But, you know, filter, you can tell it's more edgy there. And I wanted a more rounder sound, warmer. So I just pulled it over to the left some, and uh, here's your your resonance, and you can play with that. You know, makes it sound like it's in a box or something. So depending on what you're going for sonically, you can mess around with it. I was looking for like a thumpy, rounder, warm bass. So just find the sweet spot and roll with it. <laughs> 